Hey everyone, my name is Riley and in this video we will be comparing HubSpot and Pipedrive. HubSpot and Pipedrive are two of the biggest CRMs on the entire market right now and in this video they will go head to head. I have been using both of these tools for the past few weeks not only to get a basic understanding of these but to create a full in-depth tutorial on both of these CRMs. In this video we will be taking a look at which is the best and which is the worst and if you want to claim a free trial for either of these tools, you can do so using the links down in the description. So let's start out with Pipedrive. Pipedrive is definitely the easier of the two software to use. And you can pick up Pipedrive in probably about 20 to 30 minutes. And if you want to do so, I will leave a link to the beginner Pipedrive tutorial that I created in the description. But in Pipedrive, we are brought straight into this leads inbox where we can go ahead and add new leads into this CRM. So I can go up and add leads, enter in the information. So I will call this person Tyler Newson. We can then add an organization. So let's say, let's say Coco Colo. Then we can add this as an organization. Enter in the potential value of this lead, the email and the phone number. Click save. And just like that, this lead is going to be added. Pipedrive also has this awesome tool right here called Lead Booster that we don't have access to on HubSpot. So this Lead Booster tool, it does cost extra, but it is absolutely fantastic if you need a tool to help you with prospecting. With the Lead Booster, they claim to have generated over 2.4 million leads and closed over $15 billion in leads from Lead Booster leads. Effectively with this, you get a live chart, you get a prospector where you can go in, find a lot of different leads from this database of over 400 million people and then reveal their contact data to get in contact. We also have this chatbot and web forms that come with this and this is around, this is £39, so this is around $45 per month if you want to have access to this tool. Down here we have deals which shows you your current deal pipeline and what we can do is edit all of these top sections. So right now it's new leads, then we go to discovery call booked, then closing call booked, deal closed and onboarding call. And if we want to change these top sections, we can simply click in, change the name and then save changes. From here, we can go ahead and add in new deals. So I can go for the contact person and what was the guy's name? I think it was Tyler. Is that right? There we go, Tyler Newson for Coca-Cola. Enter in the deal value, let's say $15,000. Oopsie, 15,000. It's already set to dollars right there. And then once again, phone number, email, all of that good stuff. We can add them to the pipeline right here. And then as the deal progresses, we can move these all along and stay really up to date with the entire pipeline and see where every different lead and potential client is in the sales pipeline. Next, we have projects. So not only can you use Pipedrive as a CRM, but you can also use this as a project management tool. Once again, we can go ahead and create projects, type out the project right here. So the title, the start date, the end date, the owner of this project, and then we can go down and click save. And it's just going to add in the different projects right here. Once again, we can change all of these names along the top by clicking into edit board, changing all of these names. And as I say, this is a project management tool. However, it's super simple, super, super basic. And if project management is one of the main things that you are after in a software, then you're probably better off going for something like monday.com if project management is your primary focus. Next, we can go down to campaigns. This is where you can set up different email campaigns within Pipedrive. So we can click email campaign, go ahead and create a brand new email right here. And there's a lot of templates that we can choose from. So we have this template right here, go back, we have a real estate one right here and we can set up automated campaigns so that we can set them up once and then they will be sent out on autopilot. Another cool feature of Pipedrive is that you can hook up your email inbox and then all of your emails are going to land here right inside of Pipedrive, just like you would inside of Gmail or iCloud. And then we can also go ahead and write new emails inside of Pipedrive, send this to whoever you want. And effectively, it gives you full access to all of your emails inside of the software rather than having to flick backwards and forwards between Gmail and Pipedrive. Pipedrive also comes with this activity feature where you can plan out your calendar. So this is the default view, but I don't really like this. I prefer to flick this over to calendar and then you can create and plan out different activities on yours and your team's calendar. 
For example, let's say I want to add a sales call at six o'clock tomorrow. I can go to activity, set this to sales, sales call with Tom. Then this is obviously a call. Then let's set this to 6 p.m. to maybe 6.30. That is tomorrow. So I'll just change it to the here. We can also add a note, add who the sales call is going to be taken with. We can also do this with meetings, tasks, deadlines, emails, and lunch. And then if I go ahead and click save, that's going to pop in right there and show this for you and the team members that you set this call with. Next, we can go over to contact. And once again, this is a very similar menu to leads where we can go in, add new contacts and leads in here. And they are all going to show up in this section. Next, we have insights. And this is where we can see just a much broader overview of everything inside of Pipedrive at a glance. We have new activity reports, so we can see how many new activities are coming in. We can see average value of deals won, deal duration, deal conversion, deals won over time. And this menu is absolutely fantastic. You can fully customize this menu by also dragging things around to these different areas. And we can add new reports using this button in the top corner. And you can select from any of these reports to add to this dashboard. Finally, we have this marketplace section where we can go ahead and add in different integrations, any different tools that you use, any major software, you will be able to link up and integrate with Pipedrive. So that is Pipedrive. Now let's move over to HubSpot. And in my opinion, HubSpot is a much better software. And you will be wanting to use HubSpot if your sales team is a little bit bigger. I would say more than 10 employees, you want to be using HubSpot. And you can just do a lot more with this tool. Not only can you manage your sales team, but you can also manage your marketing inside of HubSpot. Now to get more information about this, if you do decide to go with HubSpot, I will leave a link for my full HubSpot tutorial, my full tutorial on the HubSpot sales dashboard and my tutorial on the HubSpot marketing hub. But in here, this is the main dashboard. We can see things like activity leadership by rep with type breakdown. And this is very similar to what we saw with Pipedrive, where we can basically get a full in detail view of everything going on in HubSpot at a glance using this menu right here. Once again, very simple and we can move things around. And we can also customize this dashboard by going up to add report, clicking on create report. And there is even with reports, there is a lot more that you can add and do with HubSpot. So with that being said, one thing that I will mention is HubSpot will take a longer time to learn, a longer time to set up, but it is worth that extra time in my opinion. Once again, we can go to contacts right here and view all of the contacts that we currently have. If we want to create a new contact, we can go up and create this contact with the email, first name, last name, any companies they work for. We can also click into any contacts right here, see things like the activity, make any notes on this specific contact, see any emails that have come to or from this contact, see any calls that have come to or from this contact. Then we also have tasks and meetings right here. Next, we can go over to conversations. And this is very similar to what we saw in Pipedrive with the entire email section, where you can link up your email inbox and manage reply and send emails from inside of HubSpot rather than having to use another email provider. So everything that we have seen so far is very, very similar to Pipedrive. But this next section is really where HubSpot just goes above and beyond and really takes the title for number one, in my opinion. If we go over to marketing, you can literally view and run your ads from inside of HubSpot. So if I just go into see a quick demo right here, we can go in and we can see contacts created by day. So in this example, we had eight contacts created on this day, seven on this day, six on this day. And these are all new leads that have came from ads. So we can go in, see like an ad overview of all of the campaigns. We can go into lead generation and we can literally create ads inside of HubSpot rather than having to use the Facebook business manager, Instagram ad manager, or whatever ad manager you are using. And the ad platforms that you can use with HubSpot are Facebook ads, Instagram ads, and LinkedIn ads. So you can create your ad right here. We can choose the Facebook page this is on, the image and video creative, edit the headline, add the body, call to action, and Facebook form. 
Then we can go to targeting, set up all of the different targeting, lookalike audiences, remarketing, and all of this good stuff in here. Then we can simply publish the ad and all of the ad information, such as the impressions, the clicks, the cost per click, and then also the cost per lead is shown right here, as well as the amount spent and ROI. You can turn ads on and off from inside of HubSpot, and let's just exit out of this demo right here. We also have email marketing. So once again, you can send and create email campaigns from inside of HubSpot that you can send out to your email list. And having ads in here when creating an email list is just so much easier and it makes this email marketing process a lot easier. Next, we have landing pages. So this is something else that you can do inside of HubSpot that you can't do with Pipedrive. Now, what I will say about the HubSpot landing page builder is this is super, super basic. Like this is not a software that was specifically built for landing pages. So if you are bringing a lot of traffic, probably won't be able to handle it and you're better off going with something like ClickFunnels. Even if I go through and start to create a landing page right here, you can see that with the templates that we have, the whole overall view of this, we can build very simple landing pages but once again, if you are using ClickFunnels or something like that right now to build your landing pages, I definitely wouldn't cancel your subscription and rely on HubSpot for this. We can also send out SMSs on HubSpot, which we can't do on Pipedrive. It does cost extra, of course, any email marketing and SMS software is going to charge you extra, but you can send out SMS from inside of HubSpot as well. We also have this social media element, where you can link up your social media and we can create social posts, schedule them. As you can see, this is my Twitter linked up right here. I'm gonna say like, hello, I created, I created this in HubSpot. You can link up your Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook to this, and then create posts, schedule them for later, and manage your entire social media from inside of HubSpot. You can also create websites inside of HubSpot. I don't want to go too deep into this with giving it a review as this is not something I have really used. I've looked over and I've tested this out, but once again, it's very simple and this just isn't a tool that I would personally use to build a website. I would prefer to use WordPress, but it is an option if you want to create something extremely quick and simple. Next, let's go over to sales. We have this prospecting section right here. And although this is called prospecting, this is nothing like the prospecting feature that we can get with Pipedrive. In terms of real prospecting, going out there and using this tool to find leads, you can't do this with HubSpot. That is only something with Pipedrive. But what we can do in this section is set up different to-dos, emails, and calls for our team. We can set up different automated sequences. So this is something that's very cool as well that we can't do with Pipedrive, is we can go through and set up like a sequence so right now we can see with this sequence, day one is an automated email. Then it's going to tell the team to give them a call on day two. Then delay three business days, send them another email. Then delay four business days, send another email, delay two business days and set another call task. And you can really customize these in any way you want. You can start from any of these templates or you can create one from scratch. And this is a really awesome tool that you can use to automate some of your sales flow. Under deals, we also have this deal section, which is very similar to the deal section that we saw in Pipedrive. And this is very standard with CRMs. There's nothing particularly special about the deal feature inside of HubSpot. Once again, we can go in and change all these titles if we want. We would just go up to board actions, edit stages, and then we can edit all of these stages right here. Once again, we can add in new deals by clicking create deal, add in the deal right here, add all of the information, and then we can drag these throughout all of these different pipeline areas as the deal is going through. We also have this forecast section, which is going to show how all of your sales team is doing. We can create goals for our team, see how they are currently doing on those goals, the coverage, how many discovery calls booked, how many are qualified to buy. And effectively, you can use this tool to get an overview of how every member of your team is doing. 
We also have coaching playlists right here, where you can get all of your sales calls from inside of HubSpot and add the best sales calls into specific playlists so that your team can listen back to them and get training from inside of HubSpot. So once you have made a few calls using HubSpot right here, we will be able to go access the recordings right here. And this is going to show every single sales call recording that you have inside of HubSpot. You can go and pick the best and then add them to these playlists right here so that your team can come along, play them, listen to them, and get some sales experience. Under playbooks, this is where you can add and create sales scripts. So if I go into create a playbook, we can start from scratch or we can use any of these templates. Let's start from scratch. And then in here, we can go ahead and type out a sales script. So I could be like sales script intro, Hey, thanks for calling GeForce North. And then you can just go ahead and type out the rest of the script. And then in here, you can ask different questions that you would like to be answered. So we can go in and write a question. So I can say like, how long have you been looking at car insurance? We can then save. And then your team will be able to come along and take notes in these boxes when they are on sales calls. So we can just publish that, that is going to be saved. And then your team can come along and open this and have a sales script right here. Finally, if we go back over to dashboards right here, this is going to take us back to the main dashboard section that we talked about earlier and lead us full circle in this review. The final thing that we are going to cover here is of course the pricing for both of these. Now with Pipedrive, the pricing is a lot more simple. You can just choose from one of these plans right here. We have the cheapest plan coming in at around, I'd say this is $17, $18, going up all the way to $90 to $100. You can see everything underneath that you get included with all of these different plans. And if we go over to HubSpot, the pricing plan that you pay is going to be different. So you can buy sales, but you also have to buy marketing separately. So the cheapest plan right here is about $20 per month for the starter plan with marketing and the same for sales right here. So if you want both marketing and sales, it's going to be around $40 per month. And once again, you can see everything that you get access to with each of these plans by coming down here and looking at everything that you get. But overall, especially when you go up to these higher tier pricing plans, it is going to cost you a lot more for HubSpot and HubSpot is definitely a more premium marketing tool as it can do a lot more as you have seen in this video. So that is my review on Pipedrive versus HubSpot. To sum this up, if you are a bigger team and you have a bit more money to spend, I would definitely go with Pipedrive because it has so many more features. On the other hand, if you are a solopreneur or you have an extremely small team, I would maybe go with Pipedrive for now until you expand your revenue, then jump over to HubSpot and get access to those more premium features. But if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.